Good morning everyone, welcome back to Chris RD Gymnastics Music and Sports Channel and today we are going to re-watch together the replay of the Central American and Caribbean Games 2023 in their 10 meters platform dive. Consider, subscribe, like and share to this channel and thank you very much for your continued support and let us enjoy the Central American or Latin American or yes yeah, Central Americans and Caribbeans divers watching them. God bless and thank you. And here is our first diver from the Central American and Caribbean Games 2023 10 meters dive. Mateas Ortiz from El Salvador. In his round one, he will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. Oh, and it's... <laughs> and his score is 36.0, 7.0, 6.5, 7.0, 6.0, his numbers from the judges. Next divers that we have, we have here from Venezuela, Jesus Gonzalez. Jesus Gonzalez, sorry, from Colombia. Jesus Gonzalez of Colombia will have a 3.2 level of difficulty and he just did a, a an inward 3 and 1 half somersaults six, six and a half, five and a half. he got 56.0 total score in that dive Next divers, next diver that we have is from Mexico. Diego Baliesa of Mexico in his round one will have a inward three and one half somersaults with 3.2 level of difficulty. That's a good and perfect vertical lines for Diego Baliesa in his in war three in one half somersaults. Eight and a half nine eight point five. He got eighty three point two in his first round. He's also a finalist in the world championship two thousand twenty three. Welcome the next diver from Mexico. From Mexico also, Herman Sanchez will have a 3.3 level of difficulty in this dive. And he will do a back 3 and 1 half somersaults. He says here, the, the translator says it's shrunken position. We're just using Google Lens Translate. Okay, tuck positions. That's a good tuck position, but the vertical line is not that perfect upon his entry. He got 70.95 in that um, dive. Seven, seven and a half are his numbers from the judges. And it's a unanimous, almost unanimous judge. We have here from Puerto Rico. Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico will have a 3.0 level of difficulty in his round one. And he will do an inward three and one half somersaults in pike position. Emmanuel Vasquez, Puerto Rico. That's good job, but the vertical line is not that perfect for Emmanuel Vasquez. You can improve with that. Six 
7, 7.5, 6.5, 0 is his total score for Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico. Next diver that we have is from Colombia. Leonardo Garcia of Colombia will have 3.0 level of difficulty in this dive. Beautiful dive for Leonardo Garcia. That is a forward 3 and 1 half somersaults in pike position. Seven, seven and a half, eight point zero. He got sixty nine point zero total score for the first dive of Leonardo Garcia of Colombia. We have a very good um, diving area here. From Colombia, we have here um, Sebastian Town. We'll have three point two level of difficulty. <laughs> Sebastian Dila. It was translated by the Google Lens. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Sebastian Dila did a back two and one half somersaults with one and one half twist. 3.2 level of difficulty for that. 68.8 is his total score. 7, 7.5, 6.5 are his scores for the judges. From Cuba, we have here Carlos Ramos. We'll have a 3.0 level of difficulty. And he will do a forward 3 and 1 half somersaults. He's also a world champion um, contender in this world champion 2023 in the world aquatics. Carlos Ramos of Cuba. It's a fair dive for Carlos Ramos of Cuba for his three and one half somersault. Eight, seven, seven and a half, 8.5, 8.0. 72.0 8 total score of Carlos Ramos of Cuba for his first dive. And we have here Matias. A very young diver from for round two. El Salvador, Matias Ortiz in his second round will have a reverse dive. 1.9 level of difficulty and it will be in the pike position. This is just a new diver competing for senior. And that's good. Uh, very <laughs> useful. But it's, it was nicely done. Seems that the 10 meet their 10 meters platform is very high. He got 32.3 for score for that dive, 5.5, 6.0, 5.0 are his number scores from the dive divers. And we now have here Mr. Jesus Gonzalez of Venezuela, also a world champion contender will have a 3.3 level of difficulty for this dive back three in one half somersaults in attack position oh an imminent water splash it's hard to tell some of the mistakes or the their strength because there is no no slow motion 44.45 for that score. Four and a half, 5.0, 4.0 scores of the judges. Surely there was a problem in the form during the entry. And now have here from Mexico. Mexican diver Diego Baliesa will have in his round two will have a 3.1 level of difficulty for his arm stand forward. Triple somersault in attack position. 
No, is that yes? I'm stand forward. And that's good, very good for Jago Baliesa for that dive. Eight, seven and a half, seven and a half, eight point zero are his scores number from the judges. Seventy one point three for Jago Baliesa for this dive. And we now have another diver from Mexico, um, German Herman Sanchez will have a 3.2 level of difficulty in his dive and he will do a inward 3 and 1 half somersaults in tuck position for his second dive from Mexico. It's an amazing job for him, it's a beautiful dive, of course. Six and a half, six, seven point zero are his numbers, of course, of judges. 62.4 total score for Herman Sanchez. Now we have here Senor Emanuel for his. Second dive from Puerto Rico, Emmanuel Vasquez. 2.8 level of difficulty for his second round. And he will do a reverse 2 and 1 half somersault in tuck position. Nicely done. Although it's not that perfect. Um, vertical lines upon his in his entry and but it's a job well done for him seven seven and a half eight point zero are his scores 83 63 point zero total scores from the judges Now he from Colombia, Leonardo Garcia of Colombia will have 3.2 level of difficulty and he'll do an inward 3 and 1 half somersaults for his second dive in tuck position. Leonardo Garcia of Colombia. It's a beautiful entry for Leonardo Garcia. Maganda talaga yung pagpasok niya doon. The vertical line is also good. 8.0, 7 7.0, 7.5, scores the judges 76.8. Total score. Senor Sebastian for the second dive. Sebastian Villa of Colombia will have 3.5 level of difficulty for his second dive and he will do an inward 3 and 1 half somersaults in pike position. And that's a good dive for Sebastian Villa. It's really hard to tell whether they have a very good vertical entry or not because there is no... No slow motion, he got 68.25 total score, 6.5, 7.0 are his numbers scores from the judges. It's a unified judgment. A world champion qualifier also. From Cuba, Carlos Ramos will have a 3.3 level of difficulty for his second round and he will do a back. Three and one half somersaults in a tuck position. Carlos Ramos of Cuba. Taking his time before he start. Oh, so you can see a very big amount of water splash. 
and for sure there is uh, maybe a problem with his vertical lines there five four and a half five and a half 49.5 scores from the judges there was takes there One of the very young diver of them all. We are now on round three. For round three. From El Salvador. Ouch! That must be very painful in the skin. He wasn't able to do his per uh, vertical lines there. Maybe. He had the snurb and he did it in the 5 meters and must be very painful. I hope he's fine. I think he's not fine there. He doesn't feel good. Yes, he feels disappointed here. One of the world championship contender also. I'm just waiting for oh, one one zero point five. That's the score of the man from El Salvador. We have here from Venezuela, Jesus Gonzalez will have 3.4 level of difficulty for his third round and he will do a reverse 3 and 1 half somersaults in attack position. Jesus Gonzalez of Colombia. It's a good dive but there is not enough time for him to do his vertical lines. To grab his hands to form the vertical lines is a little bit missed. He got 5.5, 6.0, 4.5 scores from the judges. 56.1 total score of Jesus Gonzalez for his third round. We welcome now here the Mexican diver. who's a world uh, champion. He got he was tough top four during the 10 meters finals Diego Baliesa will have 3.7 level of difficulty here that is he did a forward uh, four and one half somersaults in tack positions for Diego Baliesa He got 6.0, 6.5, 68.45 scores from the judges, total score. 5.5 also, he got this number. Herman Sanchez of Mexico also will have a 3.3 level of difficulty for this dive and he will do a arm stand back triple somersaults in a tuck position Herman Sanchez of Mexico Is he done? It's really hard to see <laughs> because there is no uh, slow motion ladies and gentlemen Six and a half, six, six and a half, seven. We got sixty-four point thirty-five total score for Herman Sanchez for his third dive. We welcome here Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico. We'll have a three point two level of difficulty for his round three, and he will do an arm stand back double somersault with one half twist after the round two 
in a free position. Yes, good job and beautiful dive for him for Emmanuel Vasquez. Season half. 5.5, 7.5, 7.0, total score of Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico for his third dive. Leonardo Garcia of Colombia for his third round will have a 3.2 level of difficulty and he will do a back 2 in 1 half somersaults with 1 in 1 half twisting in a pike position Leonardo Garcia of Colombia that is a very good dive such a textbook dive here Seven, seven and a half, eight point zero, seven point five, seven three point six. Total score of Dinado Garcia for his third round. Sebastian Villa of Colombia will have a three point five level of difficulty for this round and he will do a arm stand back triple somersaults in a pike position now, there is a big problem in the vertical lines too much arcing there and i hope he is, he is just fine it must be a very painful at the lower back Sebastian Villa got 63.0, total score 6.0, 6 6.5, his uh, number scores on the judges. Carlos Ramos will have 3.2 level of difficulty for his third round and he will do an inward 3 and 1 half somersaults in a tuck position. Carlos Ramos of Cuba. Why the camera at the back is not working? They should feature also the camera at the back. Nicely done! And that is a very good dive for Carlos Ramos of Cuba. Nine, nine, 8.5. Very good. 86.4 score of Carlos Ramos of Cuba for his third round. We are now on the round four from El Salvador. Matias. Matias Ortiz of El Salvador will have a 2.7 level of difficulty for this uh, fourth dive. Inward two in one half somersaults. In tuck position. It's a better dive for Matias Ortiz. I believe he is just starting to compete for his seniors. He get 47.25 total scores of the judges. 5.5, 6.0, 5.0 his scores in mid-wall from the judges. Very Catholic name from Venezuela. Jesus Gonzalez will have 3.0 level of difficulty. And he will do a forward three and one half somersaults in pike position for his fourth round. Jesus Gonzalez of Colombia. Oh, I think there is a problem with the vertical lines there. Not that perfect vertical lines. And you can see in his entry, a lot of water splash. Five and a half, five, 4.5, 45.0 total score of Jesus Gonzalez of Venezuela. Diego, 
The Mexican diver we have here is Mr. Diego. Diego Valiesa will have 3.3 .3 level of difficulty for his round 4 and he will do a back 3 and 1 half somersaults in a uh, tuck position. That is better and his entry is good. There's not too much water splash there. 8.5, 9.0, 8.5, 84.15 for Jago Baliesa. He is one of the best divers in Latin America, Jago Baliesa. Herman Sanchez of Mexico will have 3.2 level of difficulty for his uh, fourth round and he will do a back two and one half somersaults with one and one half twisting in pike position. Herman Sanchez of Mexico. Good job. It's hard. Five and a half. Six. Six and a half. Four point five. Fifty-two point eight total score of Herman Sanchez of Mexico here. Welcome here from the Puerto Rico, Emmanuel Vasquez. In his fourth round, we'll have 3.3 .3 level of difficulty, and he will do a back three and one half somersaults for his fourth round in a tuck position. Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico. Nicely done for him. Better than his other diver dives. Six and a half, eight point zero, seven point zero, sixty four point thirty five. His total score in his fourth round. Welcome here the Colombian diver Leonardo Garcia in his fourth round. Leonardo Garcia will have 3.3 .3 level of difficulty for his back three and one half somersaults in tuck position. Leonardo Garcia of Colombia. Colombia is also well known for winning most of the titles and runner ups in the Miss Universe. <laughs> Six, five and a half, five point zero, four point five, six point zero, forty nine point five. Total score of Leonardo Garcia of Colombia for his fourth round. And we have here Sebastian Villa of another Colombian diver. We have three point three level of difficulty for this fourth round, and he will do a back. Three and one half somersaults in a tuck position. That's good job and nicely done for Sebastian Villa for his fourth round. Better than his previous dives. Seven, seven and a half, six and a half, eight, seven. And Seventy point ninety five total score of Sebastian Villa for his uh, fourth round. World champion contender also here. The future of South American Caribbean in diving. Carlos Ramos will have 3.4 level of difficulty for his fourth round. And he will do a reverse three and one half somersaults in tuck position. Carlos Ramos of Cuba.
making his time for him to start. That is nicely done for Carlos Ramos. I love the vertical lines there. It was nicely done. Five, four point five, six point zero, fifty-four point four total score for Carlos Ramos. It's a mix, judging for the judges here. Moving on to our fifth round from El Salvador, Matias. Matias will have 2.4 level of difficulty for this 5th round and he will do an arm stand forward, double somersault in a pike position. Matias Ortiz. Nicely done Matias Ortiz. And we are just proud of this young man. Six and a half, six, five and a half, forty point eight total score for the judges here. I hope he is fine. I, I don't think he is fine here. From Venezuela, Jesus Gonzalez will have three point two level of difficulty for this fifth round, and he will do a back. Two and one half somersaults with one and one half twisting in pike position. Nicely done for Jesus Gonzalez. Six and a half, six, um, 60.8 scores of Jesus Gonzalez for this dive. So that, uh, The lights are being affected because they are. This is an outdoor. So we have here Jago Valdesa, 3.4 level of difficulty, and he'll do a reverse, three and one half somersaults. Some angles are not that light or dark. Some angles are a little bit dark because um, it is an outdoor and they're dependent on the sunlight. That's very good for Jago of Mexico. Seven, seven and a half, six point five, sixty nine point seven score of Diego Baliesa of Mexico for his fifth round. Herman will do his dive in the five meters. See five meters or three meters. Very low level of difficulty for this one. 3.1 level of difficulty for Herman Sanchez of Mexico. Reverse two in one half somersaults for this fifth round in tuck position. It's a good job, but there is an arcing and the vertical line is a little bit problem problematic. Forty-nine point six is his total score for the judges. Five point zero, five and a half. 4.0, 5. Point, 5 and a half individual scores from the judges. Emmanuel Vasquez um, of Puerto Rico will have a 3.2 level of difficulty for this dive and he will do an inward 3 and 1 half somersaults in attack position. Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico. Points eight, eight point zero, seven point zero, seven and a half, seventy six point eight scores for Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico. Leonardo 
We have here Leonardo Garcia of Colombia for his fifth round. And he will do an arm stand back to triple somersault in a tuck position for Leonardo Garcia. Now they use now the back camera. Very rare they're using the back camera here. That is the arcing is very eminent as you can see. It will have caused a lot of deductions for that dive. Four, four and a half, three and a half, four. 39.6 score for that dive. It's fine, Leonardo Garcia, you can do better the next time. We now have here another Colombian diver, Sebastian Villa, in his fifth round. will have a 3.7 level of difficulty. And he will do a forward four and one half somersaults in attack position. Sebastian Villa of Colombia. That is nicely done. Ang maganda eh. Although, I'm a bit skeptical of their vertical lines if they are doing it right. Because there is no slow motion and it's a bit far also. 6, 7. 79.8 his total score. Great job for Sebastian Villa. One of the future diver of the future of South America for diving, Carlos Ramos of Cuba, will have a 3.2 level of difficulty and for his fifth round. And he will do an arm stand back double somersault with one and one half twisting. Yeah, free position. It's a good job. Beautiful dive for our Cubans. For Carlos Ramos, he got 76.8 total score here. 8.0, 7.5, 7.0 individual score from the judges. Moving on now to our sixth round, our fi the final dive of Matias Ortiz of El Salvador. He will do a um, back two in one half somersault with one half twisting in a tuck position. That is will be a two point seven level of difficulty. Mm. It's fine. It's a nicely done, and congratulations. Matias Ortiz for your debut in and future as a senior. 39.5 is his score from the judges. 5 4 5.0, 4.0, 4.5, 4.0. We welcome now here the diver from Venezuela. Jesus Gonzalez. Jesus Gonzalez will have a 3.2 level of difficulty. For this dive, and he will do an arm stand back double somersault with one and one half twisting in a free position. This must be coming to the late afternoon now because the light is a little bit coming darker. Four and a half, three point zero. 2.5, 3.5, very low. 33.6 score here for Jesus Gonzalez. The best diver in Latin America from Mexico in his final dive. Diego Baliesa. Diego will have the 3.6 level of difficulty for this dive and he will do a back two in one half somersault with, one, with two and one half twisting. In pike position, Diego Baliesa of Mexico. Yeah. 
Nice event for Jago Baliesa here. Fifty nine point four total score from the judges, four and a half, five and a half, six point zero is a mixed score from the judges here. Moving on, on to our next Mexican diver, Herman Sanchez. Herman Sanchez will have 3.0 depth of difficulty for this final dive. Forward 3 and 1 half somersaults in pike position. Herman Sanchez. Mm. There's a little bit water splash, and that is very <laughs> eminent, evident. <laughs> Get 48.0 total score here. Four and a half, five and a half, five point zero scores on the judges. Moving on to our the last dive of Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico will be a back two and one half somersaults with one and one half twisting in a pike position. It will be a 3.2 level of difficulty. Emmanuel Vasquez of Puerto Rico. and a half, seven, seven and a half, 67.2 total score for Emmanuel Vasquez in his last dive. It's a fair dive for a good score for Emmanuel Vasquez here. Moving on to our next diver we have here from Colombia, Leonardo Garcia. Leonardo Garcia will have 3.4 level of difficulty for his reverse 3 and 1 half somersaults in tuck position. Colombia. And the same is Mr. Leonardo Garcia. That is. <laughs> that there's a mistake there, and the uh, pipe position is not good. The arcing is also evident. You get 3.5, 4.0, total score from the judges here. Sebastian Vila of uh, Colombia will have 3.4 level of difficulty for his Final dive, he will do a reverse three and one half somersaults in attack position. Sebastian Vida. Nicely done for Sebastian Vida. Five and a half, six and a half, five and a half. 64.6 total score of Sebastian Vida for his final dive. One of the great divers of Latin America, we have here Carlos Ramos of Cuba. We have a 3.2 level of difficulty for his final dive, and he will do a back two and one half somersaults with one and one half twisting in a pike position. Carlos Ramos of Cuba. Nicely done for Carlos Ramos there. 
it's a good job for him. It's a good vertical lines there. The entry is beautiful. You get here a 73.6 total score. 8.5, 7.0, 7.5 scores for the judges. Must be a podium medal for Carlos Ramos. And here, the final result. We have here Mexico, Diego Valleza, the gold, Sebastian Villa, uh, Silver, and Carlos Ramos of Cuba on the bronze medal position. Emmanuel Vasquez on the fourth of Puerto Rico, Pesico, Herman Sanchez fifth. Um, Leonardo Garcia, Colombia on the 6th, Venezuela, Jesus Gonzalez on the 7th, and El Salvador, Machas Ortiz, the very young, in the medal. position. Thank you very much and God bless This you is all. his second dive. And please comment down below your favorite diver from and this competition. Second Thank dive. you. Ladies and gentlemen, the awarding ceremony of the 10 meters platform finals in the Central Caribbean. Central American and Caribbean Games 2023 and please do not forget to subscribe like and share to this channel Chris RD Gymnastics Music Sports channel the bronze medalist from Cuba Carlos Ramos here and really he is the the future of Latin America in diving he's really a great diver he's also a world champion uh, finalist from Colombia here Sebastian Sebastian Diaz of Colombia here in the uh, silver medal position. Diego Baliesa of Mexico, the great Diego of Mexico, and he's also the most, the strongest diver in Pan American Games and also in Latin America. The unbeatable Diego Baliesa for gold medal position. And let's hear here the national anthem of Mexico. Congratulations to our medalists in the 10 meters platform finals. They're really great divers. They have a long way of journey for our Cuban diver and Colombian. Diego Valiese is long time. He is uh, doing his dive, an Olympian also. He almost perfected all his dives. He was fourth place during the 10 meters platform finals in the World Championship 2023. 